Hurry up and welcome to Michael Jackson Corner. I'm livid. I'm absolutely fuming tonight. Something has happened. I have made a really disturbing discovery, right? My mum and my sister offered me a cup of tea earlier. I said, just stick it right up your fat ass. As I do, I love a cup of tea. And I realised that they've been making me a cup of tea every night recently for a long time. And that's something that never used to happen. They're both inherently lazy. Anyway, I thought I'm just going to go check it out, make sure they're not having some kind of joke on me, putting food in my tea or something. Walked in there, my mum's putting so ash into the tea. Straight away I confronted them. What the hell do you think you're doing? What's going on? Sneaky peeks. And anyway, they start explaining to me, trying to make it sound all logical. Oh, Callum, we were worried about you. You know, when all this stuff with your videos kicked off, you just seem to be getting too angry. It's my anger. Not yours. It's not your anger. Oh, that's it. Just turn the telly back up. Pretend it's not happening. It's pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. And to medicate me, they may be a bloody druggie. Hey yo, right, this video is a warning to Callum's Corner, who has apparently decided to play silly bloody boggers, right? A little while ago, I'm just relaxing in my new Discord server, bloody brilliant place, right? Just interacting with my community, when suddenly everyone starts saying, have you seen what Callum's Corner said about you? Have you seen what he did on Twitter? He's mugged you right off, he's taking a pure pee out of you, right? I have conducted a short investigation and verified that this is factually correct. He has been, he's been mugging me off on Twitter. Like, he's got a new haircut and it's all like, tic tac this, tic tac sodding that, right? Like, what on earth do you think you're doing, Gallon's Corner? Speaking directly to you now, so hear me bloody now, right? I, I have watched some of your videos and you are wholly unsuited to this kind of thing. Like, why have you dragged me into your twisted little life? Like, I get you're excited about getting a new haircut, you know, I know what teenagers are like, you know, and you had all that, Floppy little mess like you probably couldn't even see properly out of it. I used to have a dog like it. Its hair would grow real quick, all in full of its eyes, couldn't see properly. You'd give it a trim, it would get all excited afterwards. I understand you gimpy little glee, but why didn't you just post a picture of yourself? Like, why have you dragged me into it? I, and you don't even look well in it. I, I don't, maybe I'm getting the wrong end of the stick and I'm not understanding something, but it doesn't look well in it. Like, you look like you've gone full bloody blown, but. I don't think you can catch the virus from sucking farts directly out of someone's big brown eye, can you? <laughs> don't imagine how else you would have bloody got it. You know, you've made a mistake. You have entered an elite arena here. I will stop at nothing. I will hire a furry suit and dance around the questionable area of London filming myself to distract the crap out of you. What are you going to do in return? Make it like an eight-hour video reply. No one cares, mate. No one bloody cares. Idiot. Absolute fart-sucking little twat.